Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm Army Veteran. And today we will be talking about coaches' profit from frustration with VA system as disability claims soar. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we gotten it out the way, let's get into this topic. So again, we are talking about coaches' profit from frustration with VA system as disability claims soar. So what I'm finna do is I'm about to show you an actual article from the Texas Tribune. And basically what is happening is there are politicians within the VA system that are targeting VA claims insiders because of some issues that they take with VA claims insiders due to the fact that there are non-accredited VA organization that help veterans. And I did a video talking about advocates and VSOs, and I was trying to put this information out some months ago so that veterans would be aware I didn't want to specifically target VA claims insiders because what I want to say is like, I honestly believe what they're doing is a good job. I believe that how they're helping veterans is a good thing. Um, Do I feel like they should charge veterans for service? If they're not accredited, then I would believe that they should because that's the only way that companies like that will survive. Um, Because, Although, yes, I know that there are companies that do it for free. The thing about those companies are they are being paid by the government to do it for free. So it's not like they necessarily doing it totally for free. They're being paid in the background to assist and help veterans versus in the forefront, like VA claim insiders amongst other veteran organizations that help out veterans. So you know, where people are crying and saying that they're wrong for helping. To a certain degree, I hear that. And then to another point, I kind of agree with what they're doing a little bit because I remember when I tried to reach out to a free organization and because those organizations don't hire much, um, and I know because I've tried to apply to countless amounts of veteran organizations, that help out with some of these things that they have going on because I know a little bit or a lot about VA claims. Um, there's really no opportunities to, you know, get help. And a lot of these unaccredited companies, they have countless amount of people that they have hired, given jobs that are veterans. They have all the help and resources to be able to help veterans. So do I feel like they should just totally cut them off and do away with them? No. But I did know that there was going to be an attack on these companies. And I stated that in my video called VSOs Advocates. I stated that because I tried to start a company like this. And when I was going about doing it, like I said in my other video, I heard about a cease and assist order that was being put out that was going to stop non-accredited organizations from helping veterans out. And that's partly why... The name of my company is V3T instead of VET because if you don't get recognized by a congressional organization such as DAV, Wounded Warriors Projects, amongst others, then you can't use the name vet or veteran. So I am using the name, but I'm not using the name technically because I don't spell it how they legally have it written down to be spelled out. So. I'm just going to share this article with you. I'm not going to go through the whole article. I am going to put it in the description box so that you can have a understanding of what's going on and how to protect yourself as a veteran who may be using this company to help assist you with your VA claims. So as you know, the number of disability claims filed by veterans continue to arise due to the PAC Act. Unaccredited coaches are taking advantage of this frustration with the VA system. One such company, Austin-based VA Claim Insiders, claimed to help hundreds of thousands of clients, but has also sparked numerous complaints and investigations. One veteran, Jim Pecky, 
would charge nearly $10,000 for about six hours of coaching with VA claims insiders. Although he did receive a monthly disability check, he felt he would charge for information he could have found on the internet. Pecky also claimed that the company's coach pushed him to emphasize mental distress to help him qualify for benefits. Even though his chronic physical pain was his main concern, other veterans have also complained about VA Claim Insider's tactic, and the company has faced investigation by the Texas Attorney General Office, the Federal Trade Commission, and the Better Business Bureau. The VA's Office of General Counsel even warned the company in 2019 that it may be engaging in illegal activity. Despite the complaints, VA Claim Insider claims that the vast majority of its clients are satisfied and that it operates within the law. The company also says that it helps around 600,000 veterans each month and has had 25,000 veterans participate in its paid membership program. The rise of unaccredited companies like VA Claims Insiders has come as veterans struggle to navigate the complex and constantly evolving statute that dictates who is eligible for assistance and how to demonstrate eligibility. Traditionally, the VA accredited agents, lawyers, and veterans service organizations to help veterans file disability claims. However, as the veteran population ages and shrinks, the organizations that have traditionally helped vets are also shrinking. The unaccredited companies like VA Claim Insiders charge much higher rates than accredited agents and claim to help veterans from the sideline. While some veterans have turned to these companies after being failed by accredited agents, others are happy to pay steep prices for getting generous benefits. As the number of claims filed by the VA continues to grow, so does the need for assistance in navigating the system. However, veterans should be cautious when seeking help from unaccredited companies like VA Claim Insiders and consider seeking assistance from accredited agents or veteran service organizations instead. So I agree with a lot of what they're saying, but then I also rebut a lot of what they're saying because at the end of the day, like I said, I believe that if companies like VA Claim Insiders are helping veterans out, then I don't feel like they should totally abandon companies like this. But what I do think should happen and what I do believe should happen, um, I believe that somehow... VA Claim Insider should receive recognition as a congressional recognized organization to help out with what's going on. But I pretty much understand that because it's a veteran ran organization, I'm assuming that VA Claim Insiders will want nothing to do with, you know, actual being accredited by the VA or any congressional recognized organization due to the fact that they may feel like they may be underpaid, which will cause them to be understaffed. I don't have a full understanding as to why they don't go about trying to be accredited. And maybe it was something that, you know, they were doing like how I was doing. They were just putting in the work. And because, you know, their clientele grew, they just, you know, kept going along the lines of helping veterans out and being compensated for their efforts um, with helping veterans. And, you know, my thing is kudos to them, man. I'm not going to take away from what they're doing. But what I also will say to all of the veterans who are using them, if the company is coming under scrutiny, then I'm pretty sure at some point, if there's ways for them to do it, and it's just one of those knock on wood things that it don't happen, they may start, you know, coming after people who use these companies or denying claims from people who use these, you know, organizations to help them out. What I believe they're doing is they're coming after companies like this or here who aren't congressionally all recognized and they're basically dismantling what they're doing, which would slim the chances for veterans, you know, receiving um compensation, monetary compensation for their disabilities. And this is one of the ways that you can go about doing this. So, you know, just make sure you be careful when you out there filing and fighting for your VA claims. So, you know, as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince from Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out. <laughs>